It's 4.43 and our streak of nice weather continues today. Time for traffic and weather together with forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarland. Daniel, what do we have in store? Another good day. Great temperatures to start off too, Destiny, right? We're looking at 57 degrees here. The wind is calm and that's going to be an anomaly here over the next few days. So it's sort of really going to increase, especially during the day on Wednesday. And I'll touch on that in just a second. But we are seeing some extra clouds outside right now. And that is going to allow just a few light showers earlier in the day. But most of the day today, if you're trying to get out to the rodeo, I think it's going to be great because you're having 71 degrees there. Again, an evening chance of just a quick shower passing us by. And then Wednesday is going to be a day we're tracking that's very windy. In fact, we have a high wind watch that's already been issued for that day, as you'll see in just a minute. Now, when it comes to what we're seeing as far as rainfall in southern Arizona, there's just a little bit actually happening. So a lot of this is just going to be some radar interference. But closer towards Sierra Vista, you are seeing some lighter showers in between you, Bisbee, Douglas, those areas. And it does seem like that's going to be letting up here over the next couple hours or so. Outside of that, rain chances aren't going to be bad back until later on this evening, as I mentioned. And this is all going to be associated with a system that's currently on the way out. And the next thing we're going to be tracking is another front that's still making its way all the way from Alaska eventually down towards us. Now there is some good news here. There's not going to be any kind of big dramatic cool down whenever the system passes us by. The biggest thing we're going to be having is just a good rain chance coming from it, and that's going to be starting off late Tuesday into Wednesday for that best chance, as you'll see here in just a second. So when it comes to that, I do think that Tucson has a very good chance to see some showers passing us by. Maybe even as much as three quarters of an inch of rain as possible. And keep in mind, most of that is going to be on the day Wednesday. That's going to be a very interesting day when it comes to rainfall. It could be pretty consistent throughout the day, and you might even have some areas getting a full inch just on Wednesday alone. Now closer towards the border, maybe half an inch for you, but it definitely seems like those higher values are going to be sticking on the mountains. So Mount Lemon, you can kind of see that brighter blue over that. Could see over an inch of rain there, while Tucson, as I mentioned before, half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch is going to be where we're stopping at that point in time. And it's going to be very windy. That day we're looking at consistent wind gusts in between 35 and 45 miles per hour and maybe even gust upwards of 60 in the city itself with higher wind values, of course, in those higher elevations. Oracle, Bisbee, Tombstone, those spots could see those higher wind speeds. Temperature's not taking a huge drop once we're done with the system, which is some very nice news here. 71 for today, getting down to 54 at the coolest, and then right back up to the 60s after that with another rain chance for next weekend. That was weather. Let's go ahead and check out traffic before you get on outside today. And still so far so good out there on the roadways. We're not seeing any kind of wrecks near the city of Tucson, but I do want to turn your attention